Hey everyone. Hey, I have something really cool to share with you today. In fact, it's a new series of solar modules from a company called Solbian. And uh, you can see that this is like a flexible uh, solar panel, but it's actually much more than that. And uh, I was really interested in getting my hands on, on a couple of these so I can try them out because these panels actually have a built-in MPPT charge controller right on the panel and uh, that really kind of changes the game when you start to hook up uh, solar panels but it's designed to be really easy to use and really efficient and uh, you can actually plug this in right connect it directly to a battery bank and you have a fairly complete uh, charging solution for your battery so something to, something to think about but uh, what really interested me was um, how I could hook these up together with other panels like this to uh, expand my charging capability you know with multiple MPPT charge controllers because it's not something you typically do uh, in the installations that we normally talk about and it turns out that there's some real benefits especially when you have uh, solar conditions that aren't optimal like uh, partial shading and things like that See, look, I'm still getting over three amps of charge to my battery. That's what we're going to take a look at today, and, you know, I'll share some thoughts and some pros and cons, and, uh, yeah, this is something new to think about. Just when you thought, you know, you had it all figured out and you are going to put solar on your vehicle, something new comes along. But uh, stick around. This is what we're going to talk about today. It's the all-in-one from Solbian. Before I get started, I really want to do a quick shout out to uh, the folks over at Solbian because they've been very um, helpful and very generous in order to uh, get me a couple of these panels to uh, to check out and to do some testing and share with you guys. But yeah, they shipped me a couple of these things right from their factory in Italy and uh, they arrived in a couple of days. So, you know, um, Luca and Milena and Bruce, you guys have all been very helpful. Bruce is one of their distributors here in the U.S. But I really want wanted to uh, dig into the details uh, and some of the components on this uh, all-in-one panel. Now if we take a close-up look at it, this is uh, like the same size you would see in a 50 watt panel. In fact, this is a 50 watt equivalent. In fact, it's rated at 47 watts, I think they have it rated at. But you can see that unlike a a 50 watt panel that has 16 cells on it, uh, this one only has uh, 15 and the 16th cell is actually taken up, it's removed and it's been replaced by this MPPT charge controller. So you can see that the output of the panel is actually the output of the uh, MPPT charge controller. So right off the bat you can see that you know the way that you would actually use this panel is a lot different from the way you would use a typical solar panel because it's designed to actually be connected directly to a deep cycle battery and definitely not to another solar panel. So it's it should be considered more as a charge controller I suppose as you know than a solar panel. So let's hook up one of these to a battery and uh, let's see how it uh, see how it performs. All right, let's take a quick look at this uh, test setup I have. So I have two of the all-in-one panels. They're both wired in parallel here to this box, just so we can uh, monitor their output. And uh, the output of that actually goes into this box, which is so we can monitor the combined output that's going directly to a, uh, a small deep cycle battery. So that's the setup. Uh, let's just start by looking at one panel. Right now I just have one of the panels actually connected. So, you know, with the sun still a little bit low, I can see that I'm still getting 2.9 amps out of a single panel. Now that's really good for a, you know, a 50 watt panel. They are rated at up to four amps. So I've had these up to over three amps. But right now you can see they're reading, uh, the, the single panel that we're looking at is reading like 2.9 3 2.92 amps. So that's that's pretty good for, you know, a panel that's missing a cell and uh, you know, it's still charging uh, or it's still generating, you know, this much current. 
So the applications for this, I think, for a single panel are going to be for a small trailer or a small boat or a van, and you just need a you know a, a smaller sized uh, charging solution for a single battery. You know, you don't need anything else really. All you do it is, is uh, take one of these modules and you hook it directly to your battery, and it's uh, you've got your whole uh, all-in-one uh, charging solution. Now I really wanted to be able to show what these are going to do when you hook them up um, together. So in order to hook them up together they have to be in parallel. You can't simply hook this up to this and then go to your uh, your load. They have to be hooked up directly to the battery in parallel. So that's how we have this set up. These are actually uh, combined here in parallel. So let's hook up the second panel here. I'm going to go ahead and just plug that in. Turn that on. And then now Let's take a look at this. So we have two panels here that are charging a battery and we can see that they're both working together. So together, let's just say they're simulating a 100 watt solar panel. So I can see that, you know, I got one that's at 2.8 amps right now, one that's 2.66. So yeah, and then combined, I'm getting uh, five and a half uh, amps of current right now. So I've had that, like I said, up to s over six amps at times when I've been testing this stuff. And uh, that's really good, you know, for a, a 100 watt panel, you know, five and a half amps is actually, you know, a, a really good output. So for two of these that aren't even rated at, uh, you know, 50 watts, that's really good. Um, and that's just kind of a standard test here. And it's, it's still got a little bit of, a little bit of cloud cover even. Now the other, uh, benefit I see is going to be for situations where you really need the most efficient uh, charging solution in uh in less than optimal uh, situations you know for example you know these are really uh good for uh, sailing applications because you have you know the boom and you got the mast and you got things up above that are always going to be uh, probably blocking or providing some shade at some point as you move around and the same is true with like an RV if you're driving around and you have trees and you have conditions that are changing you know this type of setup is uh, you know as opposed to a centralized MPPT setup uh, it's uh, probably got some benefit see what happens when we uh, simulate some shade so one of the benefits is that as as these get covered, you know, partially or fully, it doesn't affect the entire um, the entire charging setup here. So let's simulate that. I'm going to start by just walking in front of them. So if you had a sailboat or a tree or something, you know, this might simulate. So you'll what you'll see is you'll see one kind of drop off, but the other one is going to be relatively unaffected. So as I just kind of move in front of this, you can see it's. This panel's like partially covered. I noticed the uh, the gauge on the top there, it dropped off to like, um, you know, less than an amp. So it's mostly covered. Whereas the one on the bottom, it's still going strong. This one over here is still uh, relatively unaffected. And I'm still getting 2.9, uh, 2.6. Um, yeah, it's fluctuating. Or even close to three amps uh, that's charging my battery. Now as I move, over to this one, you'll see that it'll switch. So the other one, the uh, gauge on the bottom will drop down to less than one amp. And uh, the one at the top, it's close to three. So close to three amps, it's picking up the load, relatively unaffected, and uh, still getting over, see look, I'm still getting over three amps of charge to my battery. Essentially these are charge controllers and panels that are all working independently of each other. So that really creates some benefit in that uh, because they're isolated, they, uh, they aren't relying on each other and they're not affected by each other. So if you have one panel or one module that has some partial shading, for example, it's not going to affect the output of the others. In fact, the others can actually compensate for that. And they're both going to be monitoring the state of charge of the battery that you're charging and they're going to be sending the appropriate amount of current and voltage, you know, based on what they sense from the battery. So you could have one of these, you could have two of these, you could have three, you know, as many as you want to be able to charge your battery. Now the only consideration really is the uh, the amp hour capacity of your battery bank because, you know, for lead acid batteries, the general rule of thumb is 
So if I have a 100 amp hour battery bank, I really don't want to charge it more than, uh, I don't, I don't want to push more than 10 amps at a time. So that's 10%, 10 amps for a 100 amp hour battery bank. If it was a 200 amp hour battery bank, then you know you probably don't want to go more than 20 amps. So if you were to add up the um, maximum output of each panel, you don't want to exceed that 10% of your battery. So, But outside of that, you can combine as many of these as you want to be able to uh, get the appropriate uh, charge at the appropriate rate that you're looking for for your battery bank. So overall, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the output of these, uh, of these modules because even missing a cell here, you know, I've got these SunPower Maxion high efficiency cells and the extra boost from the MPPT. They're still able to match or exceed, you know, the output of a 50 watt uh, solar panel. So together, you know, it's kind of like a 100 watt solar panel. And uh, the performance is, is, again, at or above what I would uh, typically see in a 100 watt, you know, solar panel on a on a good day. So, you know, that's a that's a that's a good uh, good result for this test. So let's talk about some pros and cons. Obviously, the pros I've already mentioned that these are very highly efficient uh, solar panels. They have a built with the built-in MPPT charge controller and the SunPower Maxion high efficiency cells. You know, these really have high-end components, and also they're very easy to install and you don't need any additional hardware so everything you need for a charging solution is actually already built in to these modules you just simply hook it up to your battery or to you know additional uh, similar modules and you're off and running so you know finally you have this uh, you know kind of a redundant approach to um, to charging and you know you can definitely benefit from you know efficiencies you know especially in uh, in situations that aren't optimal Oh, another benefit is actually they come in various sizes uh, because this one is a you know kind of a rectangular 50 watt size, and the largest one they have is like a 72 uh, watt. But they also have uh, sizes that are different shaped, so they have longer ones and uh, as well as these rectangular ones. So let's look at some uh, cons. Well, if either the charge controller or the uh, solar cells fail to uh, perform and they don't work for some reason, then the entire module is basically useless and you can't use it so you have to replace the entire thing you actually need more smaller ones to uh, get the output that you would a larger say 100 or 150 watt panel so you actually you know have to get multiple small ones small modules to if you're looking to uh, you know get a certain solar capacity of you know I don't know a couple hundred uh, watts or maybe more now these are a high-end solution and they're really kind of tailored towards applications that really require you know the most optimal performance in uh, less than optimal uh, conditions there's going to be a higher upfront cost and you're going to pay more because these are higher end components so you know they're going to be a little bit more costly than your less expensive uh, modules if you're really shopping around for the least expensive one if you are interested in actually picking up and learning more about these panels they are uh, manufactured in italy they're actually sold through distributor throughout the world I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it and it you know, gives you something else to think about for your own solar install. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.